What's up everybody, this is Crazy Cross here, and we are playing Untold Stories, HP Lovecraft. Um, this is for the PS4, it's a pixel art game, and last time, the video, the, the PS4 cut, cut me out of the first half, and all you got was the second half where I didn't read everything because I had played it through the first half and I thought everything was recorded. But now I'm giving myself a 30 minute limit. So if I go over, I should be too, too bad. All right, so let's go. Um, this is this chapter two. You have found new information about the Great Old Ones. Check the board with the evidence. Now, you have more information about Great Old Ones. Your chances of victory have increased. That's always good. Alright. Um, my sanity is very low. Here you can see the information of the items found by the character. Alright, cool. A skeleton dressed with old and decayed clothes and covered in cobwebs and dust. Looks like he's been here a long, long, long time. Oh my god, this cannot be... These clothes, this is me. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I just killed myself. <laughs> yeah. All right. That wasn't good. Alright, so this is storage, so I can put anything that... I don't know if I need any of this, but right now it goes in storage. What did the tag say? All right, so cool. Yeah, I feel safe now. Information about the great old ones will help not to lose your mind when you meet them. Okay, so these are different items.
guess this is where we're going. Chapter 2 Hospital. A hospital much like any other in appearance, but there's an uncanny chill to the white of the walls, and the clean cleanliness seems deceptive. You feel as though if you ran a finger under any surface that you'd find clotted blood festering out, sight, and out of mind. money So what do you all think of this game thus far? I like the simplicity of it. Getting just a little bit better. God for unlimited ammo. Mother's milk. There's a syringe here filled with a cloudy liquid. Mother's milk is scratched on the side. Let's inject it. I'm past caring at this point. Ha ha ha. Oh, it healed me. <laughs> This makes no sense, I can't see how this would work. There are cogs standing alone, wires not attached to anything, and a light bulb not plugged into anything. Pipes going nowhere. It's as if a lunatic child looked inside a wireless radio or a clock and tried to make one out of odds and ends.
Alright, my sanity is getting really bad. A body on a slab. Of course. This incision at first appears surgical. They're all the locations one would expl expect from an autopsy. Down the center of the chest and the ribs have been spread. As I look closer, however, I see teeth marks around the lungs and heart and a nail indentations on the liver and spleen. It's as if whoever opened this cadaver lost control halfway through and started rent <laughs> rending at the flesh. Oh, I died again. Alright, let's try this again. It was bound to happen. Cool, I got a rip gauge. Labeled regiment machine like reanimation. Is this what's causing the dead to rise? Yeah, probably. Uh Yay, fire hurt. And I did that to myself. Yeah. A wireless radio. However, as Professor Pinkerton or Pickering has noted, there are deep channels apparent in the moon's surface, strongly suggesting that water does or did flow on its surface, and that the moon may indeed have an atmosphere. It is also important to note that half of the moon is perpetually facing away from the Earth, and the scrutiny of our telescopes, the so-called dark side of the moon, it may well be that vegetation and even some forms of simple life exist on Luna's surface, and that we may one day be able to view them, or even send radio signals to them. Click. 
I'm sorry, the thought of life on the moon deeply unsettles me at this mo at the moment. Really? Oh, okay. Gave me my sanity. I still don't have a golden key and that was a problem in the last game I was looking for a golden key a sheet of soiled paper reading Arkham Asylum initial assessment I should take it just for fun should I take it I'm not feeling good these things are so vague I could answer each of these questions five different ways and still be honest who's really Who's to really judge another sanity? <sighs> A golden key. Let's hope something in that golden chest is worth it. I think not. Oh. Bleeding everywhere. Huh. A dead body. This cadaver is crisscrossed with structured scars. Bits of skin seem to have been transplanted from other bodies, limbs transplanted, even the eyes are mismatched. What's most disturbing is that the scars from the stitches are fully healed, and some appear fresher than others. As if this person underwent many, many unnecessary transplants. I wouldn't have expected someone to be able to live through that many drastic procedures, let alone retain the function of the limbs. Want to flyer. Hard workers needed for ongoing reservations at Wheatley Mansion. Reasonable rates two breaks a day. Signed Earl Sawyer. Dunwich Carpentry. Ooh. Chocolate. Bee sting. Over here there's what appears to be a bee sting, but it's the size of my hand. It does look like a stinger of a very large insect and appears to be hollow. But there's a person there. Oh, cool. So this guy's a shop. <laughs> Enough gold. We're 
Nope. I need 3,000. Journal, an army enlistment sensor taker's journal. It's mostly just a record of expenses and list of numbers. Enlistable men in Arkham County. The sensor taker made a note about a few locations, however. The village of Dunwich is described as having young men who are nearly universally unsuitable apparently inbred possibly affected by toxic substance in the ground or water supply the town of Innsmouth has a high rate of alcoholism despite the prohibition apparently an inherited degenerative disease affects the vast majority of young men, although many unsuitable candidates expressed interest in the Navy. The town of Kingsport, rings a bell, has had recent influx of Italian, Sicilian, and Irish immigrants, many of whom would be suitable, and Arkham also has a note, high student population. Why did that affect my sanity? Is it because we talked about inbreds? It's a fetus. For some reason, there's a glass bottle here with what looks like a tiny baby inside floating in a pres preservation fluid. Hmm, oh hell, I think that thing moved. <laughs> oh yay, I lost poor sanity. Probably gonna blow my brains out. What in the world are you? Hmm. Drugs, guns, and ammunition. Why can't I speak? Protects the owner from poisonous gases? Ooh. That protects me from fire? Full protection from fire. That protects me from full acid. Alright, so I am the detective, so I can use these things. Okay. I'm gonna have to come back to him. Alright. Yes, in fact, when 
will it end? Yeah. I guess I have to save him. What on earth is going on here? Baxman, now. Magnificent, isn't it? A true breakthrough. Quite literally, yes. Haha. <laughs> A breakthrough, don't you see? Through, from beyond, these things. They are breaking through into our four dimensions. Damn it, man. Facts. Not theories or rambling. What's going on here? Calm yourself, my dear fellow. I am the lead scientist in the top secret team of crack researchers, really pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. The little force field you just saw has been but one of the many fruits of our endeavors. And these creatures? Ah, uh, less welcome fruit, I suppose you might say. Yes. Did you know something like this could happen? The map suggested some wild possibilities. No one really took seriously, of course. But my dear fellow, there can be no risk too great in the service of knowledge. There can be no moral restrictions on science. Listen, you buffoon. Get out of here now before more of those things come back. I'll come to explore further. If the authorities arrive, tell them ex Detective Murphy is in here and advise them to call for immediate backup. You got that? My dear fellow, but of course. And past the field trip of a lifetime. Ha! Huh. And they called me mad. Alright. We found a new character. need that new character because I'm probably going to kill myself. Alright, well, this has been Crazy Cross. Click the subscribe button to see more. Hit, use a like if you like the video. Me stumbling on my freaking dialogue. Um... And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.